Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 I'm back with another quick video. All right, y'all, just back with my post-fight thoughts on um, Peter Yan versus Aljamain Sterling. Now, um, a lot of controversy with this fight, you know, after this uh, after this uh, disqualification took place. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, you know, trying to decide which side they're on about this. Some people are just bashing Aljamain Sterling. Uh, some people are thinking, you know, uh, what Peter Yan did was wrong. And some people are thinking what he did was right. You know, it was just part of the game, you know. But for me... Let's be honest. I mean, I just want to go ahead and put it out. Look, if you if you do something illegal, you're going to get punished. You're going to get punished for it. You know, that's the whole purpose of having rules and certain moves are called illegal moves. I don't care how hurt a person is or how they react to it. You know, if you land a knee while somebody's knees are down. But regardless, I mean, if you land a knee while this man's knee is down then boom, you're disqualified. That's just it, bottom line. I mean, let's just be real. I mean, Petey Yon was really in no position to try to land anything this vicious. I mean, he knew he was about to win the fight anyway. I had Petey Yon winning this fight easy. You know, Aljamain Sterling, he was doing a lot of extra stuff in this fight. I mean, no dirty stuff, but just a lot of extra stuff that was costing him this win, uh, costing him this uh, title shot. But, you know, Petey Yon pretty much had it in the bag, and you could hear his corner telling him to do it. And he kind of looked over to the corner. He acknowledged them. And he threw the knee. And he dropped, uh, he dropped Aljamain Sterling, costing him the fight, you know. So he lost the title. Aljamain Sterling won it via DQ, which I know he didn't want to win it that way. I definitely feel the same way. It would definitely like a bad taste, taste in your mouth. I mean, I'd rather lose, you know, on the cards or lose however before I win it on the DQ like this because that means you didn't really have it, you know. So um, real quick, just go. let's go back and look at the fight. I mean, right away, Aljamain Sterling, he was putting the pressure on Peter Yan. You know, he was trying to apply this pressure and keep Peter Yan from getting his feet set. You know, he wanted to throw strikes from all angles. I'm talking uh, front kicks, knees, flying knees, strikes around the side, hooks, jabs. And some of this is being effective. Some of it's not. You know, some of it's landing. But at the same time, Peter Yawn is like, OK, all I got to do is wait for him to blow his load and then I can I can jump on him. And that's basically what happened. Like the first round, I had to give to Sterling because he landed more shots, more significant shots. And he uh, did score a takedown. But towards the end of the round. Peter Young started landing some good shots, and he almost got a takedown of his own. You know, he tried to reverse. Uh, he tried to reverse uh, one of uh, the takedown attempts from Aljamain Sterling. So the round started to even out towards the end. It kind of showed you uh, Peter Young started to build up momentum while Aljamain Sterling started to die down a little bit. The second round, same thing. You know, a lot of energy, a lot of punches. You know, um, a, just a lot of activity, doing a lot of extra stuff from Sterling. You know, he was all over the place. You know, throwing these shots, flying knees. And then laying on his back trying to reel Yan in when he just needed to get up and fight at a more controlled pace and pick his shots. So Peter Yan started seeing this. He just kept taking his time, letting him get back up, standing the fight back up, and just picking his shots. Then by I'd say that second round was kind of close, but I had to give it to Peter Yan. I feel like he was coming on there. And you know, of course, that that work on the ground and that takedown. I think it was this takedown, like where he scored a takedown, it almost looked like uh, Sterling landed on his neck because I saw Mark Smith kind of jump in there and look at it and he saw that land that that, uh, that takedown where he landed on his neck it looked like he was kind of buzzed and then there was a right hand that dropped in two as well so you could see that it was starting to become quality over quantity here where Peter Yon was, Yon was landing better shots and Sterling he was trying to land in volume but it wasn't being as, as effective so into the third round hey Yon started picking him apart man he just started picking him apart with some good shots straight up the middle uh, bagging him up with those shots, you know, straight right hands. And Sterling didn't really have a solid answer anymore. You know, he was trying to go in for these takedown attempts. I think he had like, what, 14, 15 takedown attempts, but no no success because Yon's takedown defense was that good. He was that physically strong. So once again, Yon just had this thing in the bag. Just just stay committed to what he was doing and just just kind of wait, his, you know, just wait for it to come. But I feel like he, he had a, like there was a little tension there. I know things were said, but it seemed like he wanted to do more than just win this fight in Yon's face and just by his body language. And then that fourth round came, man. I was just like, yo. And that fourth round came, that was it. Peter Yon, he starts coming on strong. You know, he starts coming on strong, just tagging, tagging Sterling, tagging Sterling. And then Sterling gets to the ground. And when Sterling's on that ground, he's. He's trying to he's trying to like blocks. He was trying to block whatever's gonna come and after that you see Peter Young kind of step in and then hear his corner say land the shot land the shot And he's like it's okay land the shot and they're like yeah So he throws that knee and boom he cracks he cracks up uh, Sterling in the head Sterling lays out Referee steps in and he was like yo, that was illegal knee So 
he's trying to give him time to rest. He was trying to give Sterling time to rest. You know, Sterling didn't want to get up at this point, which I don't blame him. You know, people are saying he was acting, but think about it, man. Like, if that shot, I know this was the fourth round, but think about it. If that shot had did some damage, I mean, he could have faced some really serious damage if he got back up and tried to recover. I mean, this wasn't like no uh, hit to the cup, a low blow. This wasn't no, like, just like a little eye poke. I mean, you've seen some serious eye pokes, big cuts and things like that that could stop a fight. But um, this one here, you know, it looked like it started to put a little hematoma or not on his head, you know? So I was just like, look, he doing what he, he got. Look, he's just taking advantage of this opportunity because, look, it's an illegal blow. It was a serious blow. So the, after the doctor took a look at Sterling, they didn't let him continue DQ. Um, once again, like I was telling some people last night, I said I lost a lot of respect for Peter Yon in this move. I mean, yeah, yeah, your fighters. I understand fighters. I understand what they go through. I understand, like, tension, and I understand the killer instinct. But at the same time, same like with Derek Lewis, you know, with the two extra hits, you got to learn to control it. You know, don't be an ass. Learn to control it. I don't care what anybody says. This is my thoughts. I just feel like Sterling, whether you feel like he was over exact, you feel like he was overdoing it or not, he was hit with an illegal shot. Why don't one of y'all take a knee to the head like that? Could have probably caused him a concussion. He'd probably still dizzy. Regardless if he was, you know, an illegal shot will cause, could cost you a fight if you get back up or cost you some real serious damage. I mean, hey, some some referees are harsh. You see in the last fight last week, Mar Myra Bruna Silva got a point deducted for just grabbing the fence in the first round. So this is serious. You know, this is already in the fourth round where you have the fight won and but you choose to still you, you choose to, to still try to hit this dude while he's already down. So, I mean, sometimes, look, you got to take the fight in your own hands. I mean, the corner can only do so much. They're not in there. Don't listen to them. If you feel like it's a shot that you shouldn't be landing or you already got this fight, take another approach. There's another alternative. I mean, I mean, if you're if you throw a knee, you, you're just putting more controversy on yourself. You're just putting more, you know heat on yourself instead of just thinking think it's smart like if you know if a guy's in this surrendering position or this more uh, submissive position then you should try to step back or think of another alternative like if you probably would have hit him with like a strike i think mark smith would have probably gave him like a warning you know at most i think he would have gave him a warning if he would hit him like a right hand or something you know but this knee you know it really it really did damage so hey i mean overall it was a good competitive you know i won't say really competitive but it was a good fight i feel like peter gone he he started coming on strong in that second round i had him winning i had it three rounds to one up until that point but like i said got a little greedy i think he just had some bad blood there you know he definitely did it with bad intentions so it cost him the fight but i uh, moving on from here i definitely want to see a rematch you know i know sterling he wants a legit go and you know legit way to solidify that he is the champion by bit by getting a legit win over peter yon as for peter yon you know um i would say suspend him <laughs> you know i would say suspend him but i want to see him get back in there and get the rematch and uh let sterling do his thing you know let him improve a little bit and get that get back for real for knee and him while he's down but yeah that's how i feel those are my thoughts you know sterling was in no way the wrong i mean all these other ufc fighters that go on online and all these other fighters trying to say he's winning the academy award hey let that be you let that be you getting hit in the balls or whatever or get hit in the forehead like that with a big knee you're going to take advantage of the same thing because illegal is illegal do the crime you do the time combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace